So the law now provides for a percentage of our taxable income to be allowed as a deduction for personal medical and life insurance premium when you're calculating tax. Pippin Klaus here and I'm here to explain what it all means. Welcome to Talk Tax. Building cement, cement board, and sheetrock are now zero rated. Following an order signed on May 17, 2022 by Senior Minister within the Office of the President with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh. The zero rated status enables suppliers to reclaim any VAT paid at the time the order was issued, while also ensuring that these materials are sold to consumers VAT free. VAT free. For more information, contact GRA's Tax Advisory Services section on 227-6060 extension 8000. Check out our YouTube channel or visit us on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn to learn more. One of the legislative measures introduced in 2022 was allowing a portion of chargeable income as a deduction for life and medical insurance purposes. And the objective is to afford income earners enough disposable income to cater for those unforeseen adverse circumstances that requires life and medical insurance. And trust me, these days, you have to be prepared for any eventuality. Ouch! Oh boy. So the deduction for personal and medical life insurance premium is limited to $30,000 or 10% of a taxpayer's income, whichever is less. This will of course reduce the taxable income and the total tax payable. This new measure took effect with an amendment to Section 16 of the Income Tax Act, which saw a percentage of chargeable income for medical and life insurance premium added to the other allowed deductions in the Act, such as employees' NIS contributions, gross interest on mortgage for persons approved for mortgage interest relief, and self-employed business expenses. We will now show you how to compute income tax with this new measure in place. So let's get started. Let's say you're an employee and you earn $180,000 per month. You will be allowed the following deductions before tax. $75,000 of your gross earnings would be allowed as statutory deductions. This is of course in keeping with the increase in the threshold for 2022. Also 5.6% of your gross amount or $10,008 will represent your national insurance scheme contributions and medical and life insurance deductions or 10% of your income or $18,000. It should be noted however that if the premium payment is far less than the 10% of your income or the $30,000 ceiling, the lesser amount should be allowed. Okay, in other words, even though 10% of $180,000 is $18,000, if your premium contributions made to an insurance company is only $9,000, a deduction of only $9,000 will be allowed from your chargeable income. Gosh, that is a tricky one. Therefore, your total deductions include the statutory deductions plus the NIS contributions plus the 10% of gross income. And to determine the total tax payable, you simply list the total deductions of $103,080 from the $180,000 gross income, and you calculate the taxable income of $76,920 by 28%. Okay. Due to the fact that this measure went into effect on January 1, 2022, which was prior to the passage of the 2022 national budget, employers will be required to make adjustments to their employees' tax payable. Using the revised threshold from individual income tax and medical and life insurance premium deductions and refund any amount of tax deducted from the employee's income in excess of what should have been deducted until the employee is fully refunded the tax over deducted. The return of deductions of tax by an employer or Form 5 as you know will be amended to accommodate the medical and life insurance premium deduction. Therefore, the amended Form 5 must be utilized to report to the GRA the employee's earnings, NIS deductions, medical life insurance deductions, and tax deducted. And this must be done within 14 working days of every month. Now it's a lot of adjustments, but it's necessary. You can save yourself the headache by signing up for GRA's e-services and submit those returns online. Check out our YouTube video, Submitting Employers Returns Online, to see how it is done. And you'll see how easy and convenient that is. Done. 
I certainly hope you found this video helpful in understanding the calculations with this new measure. If not, you can view the video again on our YouTube channel or you can visit our website or social media platforms to learn more. Or you can call Tax Advisory Services 227-6060 extension 8000 or you can email them taxadvisory at gra.gov.gy.